It's B Movie Mania. Mania. Tom Riley. <laughs> hey everybody. Welcome to our uh, little Thursday extra here. Um, we have all gathered, myself, Jason Halls, along with Crazy Chris Hudson. Tom Riley. <laughs> Tim, yes, uh, and Mike Hayes. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> I think well, you introduced this in the wrong order, Jay. I think I, think I did. <laughs> oh, well. Well, we've gathered here today to talk about... Episode one of Tom Riley Paranormal Investigator. And what this is, is uh, it's a little cartoon by Nigel Bach. So this connects to Bad Ben. And if you recall from our Bad Ben episode, which you've, of course, already listened to, um, you, you would know that Tom Riley is Nigel Bach's character in Bad Ben. So he has created this Tom Riley character in animated form and made him a paranormal investigator, and I just thought it is so worth getting together to talk about. What do you guys think? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh my god, I don't even know. Oh boy. <laughs> um, well, let me just start with a question. Guys, what do you think it takes to be a paranormal investigator? Well, I think you've got to come up with a good name, first of all. Okay. Booby gone? Mm -hmm. I mean, you say that fast, and you, you think you might have walked the, Chris, in the wrong Christopher, place. Christopher, uh, language on this podcast, please. I'm yeah. just talking about Tom Riley's paranormal investigations agency, Booby Gone. Oh, like Boo oh. Be Gone. Boo Be Gone. Oh, yep. I yep. thought you were talking about a reverse plastic surgery thing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. There's another okay. term for that, Mike. Oh. Okay. What's, oh, never mind. It's a medical anyway, term. You can look it up. I, Jay, I think what it takes to be a paranormal investigator is to really just have no fear to be scared by nothing. Mm -hmm. Just like Tom Riley. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nerves yeah. of steel. It takes nerves of steel and a willingness to face any unexplained phenomenon head on without fear. Nothing scares me. <laughs> and I think it's safe to say Tom is completely fearless in this. Almost. Well, almost. Well, not completely. It, Tom is fearless unless it's a living, non cryptid animal. And then he's scared shitless. <laughs> like bees. Bees. <laughs> well, raccoons. An adorable raccoon. What, what's the what's the basic plot of this thing? I mean, the basic premise. Jay, do you really want like the the ten second synopsis? Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> All right. Uh, Tom Riley is a paranormal investigator. He is trying to get his business off the ground. Turns out there's a, an evil witch that lives out by the Pine Barrens who wants to get impregnated by the Jersey Devil. Uh, she has a hard time doing that, so she threatens uh, or Tom Riley to do it. So he has to make a deal with him to. to the Jersey Devil to fuck the the evil witch. <laughs> yes. Yeah, basically the witch the witch just wants to bang the Jersey Devil. She because she wants him to who doesn't she wants him to put a baby in her. Yes. <laughs> and she she uh, has a plan to do that, which involves in the beginning just going out and laying <laughs> naked for hours <laughs> for hours <laughs> all night. I all think it is. Yeah, it really is. It's all night through a rainstorm. <laughs> yes. Yep. Rain and shine. Legs up in the air. <laughs> this cartoon is full of these weird little silly bits that are yeah, yeah. absolute genius. Yes. Like, the evil witch lies down on the ground after she yells, put a baby in me. She, like, takes her robe off. She lies down in the gr on the ground with her legs up, just waiting for the, you know, just presenting for the Jersey Devil, <laughs> who, who doesn't come all night, but it starts raining at some point. And then slowly, one of her cultists slowly walks over with an umbrella, raises it over her. It stops the water from falling on her. And this this lasts like, this thing's only 15 minutes long, and this is like 45 seconds of it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and and oh then it gosh. stops raining, she puts the umbrella away, and then walks away. And like, that's the joke. Like, that is a joke in this, and I fucking love it. And that's, that's the quality you're getting through the entire thing. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I didn't like it as much as you guys must have. Oh, Chris, I can't wait. I, we, I do want to rate this thing, if, if that's all, all right, right with you guys. Because I'm ready to go yeah. with, that, with the rating. Some of these things, I mean, like when she's laying there all night, I felt like I had to check, look out the window to make sure I also wasn't there watching this all night. 
Okay. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> let me get to something that I think you might like then, Chris. Okay. Oh, there were some good bits. The character of Tom Riley. <laughs> okay. Because oh, right. Tom Riley yeah. is just as fearless in this as he is in Bad Ben. And he's just as sarcastic. And so just as sarcastic. Not quite as foul mouthed, but you get well, a little bit of that. I mean you get a little of that. He, okay, so Lucinda is the witch and, ca- and gets Tom. She wants to strike this deal with him. And the first thing he j- says is, What the fuck are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because we should probably describe the Lucinda just so okay, you right. get the full effect of the joke. So Lucinda is, um, I, she's, she's a big woman. She's a big lady in animated form in a big old red robe. And she is scary as fuck. And yes. so when when Tom and Lucinda meet for the first time and Tom says, what the fuck are you? I kind of felt like Tom. I really identified with him right there until she, <laughs> until she tells him she's his worst nightmare. Tom Riley, I am your worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and also, I think it's definitely worth pointing out that Tom has fallen on hard times, so oh, he's yeah. his he's living in a tent in the woods. So these That's, witches well, come and get him from the tent. When Ben kicks you out of your house, I'm a, I assume he lost his home and he's trying to get back on his feet. I think this is a prequel. Yes, me too. Mm, and mm. Bad Ben makes so much more sense if you look at this as a prequel. Yeah, he he doesn't. He he's into. He, how do you put it? He's just not scared of it. He, he's not worried about paranormal activity, which is why he's so nonchalant and just kind of annoyed and pissed off throughout Bad Ben. Yeah. Instead of being scared of the paranormal, he's just kind of annoyed by it. He's seen a and witch so, melt someone with her eyes. He saw uh-huh. uh, the Jersey Devil, which looks like a literal giant red devil. And not just seeing the Jersey Devil, the Jersey Devil, but he. Set up a uh, business proposition with the Jersey Devil. I'd like to talk to you about a business opportunity that includes you getting laid. Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah, that's true. He's, 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 he's done business with the paranormal. Yes, he has. So why would he be afraid of a stupid ghost in his house? That's true. Yeah. True, yeah. <laughs> and it makes sense. If he's just starting out with his paranormal activity, he finally, maybe he's getting some business and he's getting some money and he doesn't have to have that much because he bought the house in Bad Ben at a Ooh, sheriff's yeah. auction. Right. So he got it for cheap. And right. so he was able to get this cheap house and finally not live in the fucking tent he's living in. <laughs> and it like, it makes a perfect sense. I hope this is what that is. I want to urge him to continue to make this series there was a GoFundMe that raised 120 bucks. Hey, try, try it again. I will. I dude, I will chip in now. I will chip in. Like, <laughs> like this. This is on par. Honestly, this is on par with an Adult Swim cartoon. Absolutely. <laughs> this book. Yeah. Absolutely belongs yeah. on on Adult Swim. Now, now that you say it, it seems obvious now. Yeah, it's really dry. Things are drawn out. It's weird. It's got his his auteur, whatever you want to call it. It's crudely drawn. It's it's <laughs> and, perfect. And like when you say crudely drawn, would you say animated with MS Paint? <laughs> yeah, I mean that or that or found an old version of Flash, like not right, a yeah. current version. <laughs> one of the, one of them. Although I do want to say though, real quick though, that I think this is the newest thing we have ever reviewed on the show. That this was uh, I saw the copyright notice was 2018. I don't think we've done anything more recent than that. No. Um, well, should we talk about a little bit about um, the payoff on this? So Tom ha- <laughs> Tom gets the strikes sure. this deal with the Jersey Devil, and yeah. races back to the house with where Lucinda starts choking him out, and he has a really good line here uh, that is very just pure Tom Riley. You better let me go, or I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> As he's being choked to death. This is after he tries a karate kicker or she just deflects it, right? Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> and then, and then, well, one of my other favorite lines, if I may, when Lucinda finally, she's like, let me see what you're working with or oh, something. God. And takes off the Jersey Devil's uh, loincloth. And, and she looks down there and looks at his, his, his dong. And she just goes, my, what a teeny wanger. <laughs> <laughs> It's really good when she says that. I don't oh. think that's quite her line. It's no, close. That's from a different that, yeah. movie. 
<laughs> but yeah, the Jersey Devil is just this giant hulking. I mean, he doesn't really need the jersey in front of his name. It He looks like the devil. He does. And yeah. He's just this massive ripped and just he's flying around with his giant bat wings. And he's got a teeny wanger. <laughs> Well, and yeah. we should also point out when Lucinda is checking out his teeny wanger, <laughs> um, the Jersey Devil has already thrown Tom out of the second story of the house. Oh. <laughs> second and, favorite part. <laughs> and Tom has landed on the ground outside the house. He just slaps him so good. And like the weirdly, the animation like kind of conveys like the weight and deadness of his body. I don't know how it did it, but it was really good. And those minions, Lucinda's minions are just cackling in some sort of weird chipmunk voice. That is the most terrifying thing I've ever heard. In fact, my girlfriend, Mel, she was upstairs, and she heard me watching this, and she had to come downstairs to ask what that was, because she said it sounded like there were some bunnies dying. That's the exact sound they make. It's not far. So, uh, yeah, terrifying. Well, clearly this enrages the Jersey Devil, who takes a piece of the ceiling fan and slaughters them with it. <laughs> Anybody want to talk about what happens with the left FD slaughters, the acolytes? I mean, he tail blasts her. He, he does. Oh God, he, he does. He uses his tail. It kind of just kind of yoink, yoink, yoink. Yeah. <laughs> It's just like he does. He, he takes his tail and goes bing, 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 and like it makes a gross noise. And then, and then Lucinda's like, "Oh yeah, actually, I see what's going on here." Uh, and then he bites her face off. <laughs> yes, <laughs> bites her head off, spits it out the window. It lands next to Tom. And uh, yeah. did anybody write down that line by any chance? So, bitch. Tell me again what happens to people that disobey your orders. <laughs> <laughs> uh, classic Tom Riley. And then he goes back to his sad little tent that was knocked down by the minions. And it starts to rain. That's Tom's luck. Yeah. Tom, that's, yeah that's, yep, that's it. And, and that's how he starts his career as a paranormal investigator. I, I just want to say again, I don't want to overstate how much I want Nigel to continue this series. Oh, same. I want it so bad. Like, it's fucking... Oh, it's, it's just brilliant. It, it is. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I, I, would, I, I would stop short of that, but I would like to see a few more episodes just to see if the series finds its legs. You know, I'm, I'm willing to give it a shot. Okay, well, it sounds like we're it about to it rate this thing, so why don't we go ahead and uh, do rating time. Rating time! Uh, you know, I was going to um, suggest that we rate this thing in booby guns, but now, <laughs> given the callback joke to our uh, No Holds Barred episode, <laughs> I think we need to rate this in teeny wangers. <laughs> so, um, I, I think Chris has telegraphed that he's going to be the lowest. So I want to get that out of the way. Chris, any final thoughts and maybe a rating for, for old Nigel? Yeah, you know, I think maybe I had my expectations set a little too high, hearing what you guys thought about it first, and then knowing the genius that is Bad Ben. I, uh, I, I, was, I was hoping for a little more from this, and instead it was kind of, a, I mean, Mike was right when he compared it to a Adult Swim-style cartoon, but I, think it, I don't think the quality was quite there. I mean, for a low-budget I mean, animation is hard, so I'm not going to knock it on the animation. But I think the gags were, you know, not not there for me. They didn't all work for me. There were a couple that were pretty good. I mean, Tom was gold. Everything that Nigel said was just perfect. And I did enjoy the uh, the Jersey Devil. But Lucinda and her minions were just very grating on me. And <laughs> okay. They, just didn't, okay. They, they didn't work on me. So I would, I would like to see more. I'd like to see if they can go a little bit more beyond a little bit of sophomore kind of disgusting, gross-out kind of stuff at times. But, uh, yeah, I'd like to see more, but I'm going to have to rate this one 65 teeny wangers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike, what do you got? Well, okay, so I... Man, obviously I like this. Um... I really like that it, it takes the Bad Ben universe and makes it, like, wilder. You know, it's not just, like, a ghost that's haunting a doll or something in there. And I haven't seen many other uh, of the Bad Ben-verse movies, but 
it's 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 like a, it's like when they made a cartoon of a, of a movie or TV show. Like they can go wilder with it because it's a cartoon. So they have a Jersey Devil, you know, mm-hmm. and and a witch and all this crazy stuff. So you, you got a lot more that you can do with it, and the the reality gets loosened up a bit. And I I l- absolutely love where it went. Um, <laughs> I want to give it a, a fun score like a like a 666 or like a 69 <laughs> or something. Yeah, I almost but, did that. But they don't quite fit in there, like within the the, the, the rating, because 69 is too low, I think. And then obviously 66.6 is too low f- from what I want to do. So um, I'm just going to have to give it an arbitrary number of teeny wangers. <laughs> uh, and that number is going to be 85. Very nice. Okay. It's encouraging for Jay. Nigel. What? I just said, Jay, what's your score? 95. 95. Gee, wow. Jesus, no explanation. Wow. Just 95. Not even kidding. And that is, that, I am not kidding, and that is how many episodes <laughs> I hope Nigel makes of this thing. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> I, 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 and I echo what you say, Mike. I love how they took the bad beniverse and made it bigger and wilder. And I love Tom Riley as a character. I love how dry and fearless he is. And I can't really think of any other character like that. <laughs> and I thought yeah. it was hilarious. And I want him to make 95 episodes of this and put it on Adult Swim. And that's why mm-hmm. I'm giving it a 95 and I stand by it. Perfect. <laughs> so I love it. That's great. Jay, <laughs> yeah. thank you for picking Bad Ben, and thank you for us getting to watch this, too. Thank you, Jay, despite my low score. Well, you're welcome. And I would like to point out, um, well, that's okay. I mean, you had some good comments. <laughs> um, and I'm sure there's a lot of people that would agree with you. Uh, but I'm very, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty enthusiastic about this one. So um, I did find out today, actually, um, that... And I just want to, you know, do a Nigel a solid because we've enjoyed his work. The sixth film from Nigel called Bad Ben The Way In is coming out on Amazon Prime on May 1st, 2019. So for those of you who enjoy those movies, you got another one coming. Thank God. I'm excited. I'm going to have to catch up. I'm going to have to watch the rest of them. I've only seen two of them, so. They've only seen Bad Ben. Jay, Jay, I got to head over so we can do a Bad Ben day. Let's do it. I'm in. Yeah. Yeah. Bad Ben all day. (laughs) I'm going to head back to my tent in the woods now, guys. So, Uh, yeah. Me too. We'll uh, we'll see you on down the road. Listen up, maniacs. You have a question or a comment? Would you like to uh, send some bourbon to Uncle Lloydie? You can contact the gang on Facebook at B-Movie Mania. You can also drop them a line at bmoviemania.com. Reach out. Touch them. They are touching themselves. And they might just reach back. I'm Lloyd Kaufman saying, see you next time on B-Movie Mania. Woohoo!